Hello, Libra. Getting ready to do your reading. All right. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for Libra. All right. You have the Ten of Wands, Four of Coins, the Temperance. All right. Under the deck is Lovers. So this could be somebody who wants to work on the relationship with you. You may be going through a hard time right now with this person but it does appear like it may be getting better but may take some work okay not wanting to see that it's difficult or hard now this could be the other person libra this may not be you we have four of cups we have okay someone is not being nice with five of swords but as it looks like possibly you're trying to be patient with this person with temperance so somebody has a new beginning here whether it's just kind of like letting this go because the first row up here looks like there's some drama here um, someone, it looks like someone is hard to get along with is what I'm seeing here. Someone may be closed off. They may be kind of pouty. There, there could be a lot of drama. It looks like you may be ignoring it. I feel like as soon as you ignore it and move forward, the other person though is actually kind of surprised. It looks like this person has been avoiding you or ignoring you for a while. But you're finally like, you know what, forget it. I'm moving on. I'm doing me. I'm happy. Ace of Swords. And then, then I feel like now they miss you. So you weren't, you're not checking in on them anymore. You're not saying, you know, hey, how are you? What are you doing? What are we going to do about this situation? Instead of like hanging on to this. Because I feel like in some ways you may have been enabling this person to act this way. Without even realizing it. And they always kind of knew you'd be there. But they weren't treating you well, Libra, is what I'm seeing here. Now I'm seeing something is changing. Once you take care of you with the Six of Wands and move forward and do your own thing. Yeah, I feel like this person tries to move away from you, but they still think about you. Or vice versa. Maybe you're still thinking about them. Yeah. See, the minute that you kind of ghost them, you do your own thing. You're working, taking care of you. They come rushing back in. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. They act like they don't care with the Six of Swords, but... With Eight of Swords, that tells me that they're always thinking about you. You're always on their mind. They initially aren't really doing anything about it, though. But here now, it's almost like the Hermit almost looks like he's spying, right? He's watching you at work. Oh, he's looking down. So this person, you might work with this person. But they could be a Virgo or they could just be someone who for a short time is going to ghost. Or you're going to even ghost them. But that's what seems to be solving the problem. I think they liked all the attention they were getting from you. You would, you know, want, want to know what they're doing. Why haven't they called? Let's see one more. Yeah, see, now all of a sudden the energy is shifted. We, have, we even have Wheel of Fortune under the deck. So as soon as you shift the energy, you're no longer worried about what they're doing, what they're thinking, or what's going on between the two of you now they're actually make putting making an effort putting effort in is what i'm seeing here what are you doing with the full energy you're carefree you're happy you may even be dating other people this could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius yeah, over here is like look at what's even under under the deck ace of wands coming in if you're in the ten of wands nine of wands energy i mean you are putting up with a lot with this person you're always waiting. You're always wondering what they're doing. You're, you know, you're, you're thinking they're going to reach out and they probably don't. But see, here's the eight down here. So you're going to turn the tables on them, basically. You're going to do to them more or less what they've been doing to you. And then when they decide to communicate, then you can decide what you want to do. This is going to change. We have lovers up there. We have the page of cups now. Someone is reaching out to you. Because here, I feel like you were you were the one actually saying, you know, how are you doing? Let's go out. I love you. Do you want to take my cup? And they were just like, nope, nope, nope. It's like they were pouting. Like they just wanted to stay home with the four of wands, ten of wands. Now all of a sudden they're turning around. They have this brand new page of cups. He's all dressed up offering that cup now so something's definitely going to change as soon as you change and then when you change you can decide what you want to do next let me pull a romance card to see okay they're saying this could be the one 
and worth waiting for. All right, there is chemistry between the two of you. Let me see why though, why are they feeling the 10 of wands? Okay, well there's an ace of wands. Yeah, a new beginning needs to come in. Okay, it's not really telling me why they're stuck in this 10 of wands energy. Page of coin, an offer, and the moon. Again, I feel like you're the one waiting with strength under there. You're the one giving the offers with the page of coin, and you're waiting, and you're wondering if they're going to accept it. This person is in moon energy, so they could be confused also. They may be going through a healing. Could be a Pisces. We have Gemini here. Virgo. Definitely could be. We have fire, air, and water also, and earth. So it could be anything really. All right, let me pull really quick from this deck. What is the Page of Cups energy? Ace of Wands, the world, and moving away. Okay, um, this could be you though. I got that. You, they are page of four cups is under the deck they're coming back around now that you have left to give an offer some of you may move away with the chariot it may be too little too late they might be a cancer but it doesn't mean that you are necessarily going to leave it depends on what you decide to do I feel like if you were to give that cup to them right now they would again do what they've been doing walk away from you so Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords, Ten of Cups, okay. See, I think they remember the good times the two of you had. That's why the Eight of Swords is here. They're stuck in their head. They're stuck in their thoughts. They're not doing anything, but they're thinking about how the two of you were happy at one time. You may have kids with this person. You might be married to this person. So it seems like this person is sad, maybe depressed. Um, they're definitely definitely stuck in this energy. So you may have to help them because you know what? This could be the love of your life. This could be your partner. This could be the, the father or mother of your children. It's not saying that you need to walk away from this person. They may need some help. They may need you to, you know, they need you to do something differently. That's what I'm seeing here, definitely. You're really focused on your business. I guess someone's doing woodworking here or you're focused like, uh, but you're by yourself and you're working on a business. You're putting a lot of effort into it right here. So it may not be that you're ghosting them. It may be that you're just, you know, in your office writing. Maybe you're going to write a book or start a, a blog or something like that or go back to school. Something that you've been passionate about, something you've been wanting to do, to do. you're going to put a lot of effort into that. So that's where you have maybe... Um, I don't want to say snuck off to, but that's where you're at. You're just doing your thing. And then all of a sudden now, they do seem though, I have to cough, I'm sorry. <coughs> they do seem to be worried though. It's like they're chasing you now with communication. Now they, now they seem to be worried about losing you when they see you starting to, you know, float away. Because, you know, you can't stay in this, this energy forever, Five of Cups. It's just too hard. And it does seem like depression. So what I am going to do though, extend this reading, Libra, I wanna see this person's overall energy and how they actually feel about you, how they view you, uh, what they plan to do, what are they gonna do next? Where is it headed? Are there any blocks? And then the outcome. So I'm gonna put that in the extended, link is below. Have a great week and take care.